you're welcome to my channel in this video still under planning for research we shall be talking about variables in research yeah business research skills is the course unit or research methods in our previous video we talked about a research problem what a research problem is all about the characteristics of a research problem and then we looked at the identification of a research problem now in this video we are going to be looking at the variables in research and we shall start by defining what a variable is yeah. as you hear a variable is something that varies so a variable in research is an element or item of focus that has the capacity of taking more than one value or quality at a given point in time an element of focus something that we are focusing on in our research it's what we call a variable it has the capacity of taking more than one value or quality at a given point in time and a variable should therefore be measurable you can measure it yeah a variable should be measurable that is what we call a variable examples of variables in research include prices of products the level of training of staff members, the extent of learning of students, the income level of community members. Yeah, they vary and they have the capacity of taking more than one value or quality at a given point of time and they can be measured. Yeah, so those are some of the examples of the variables in research. But the following should never be considered variables. One, we have Makerele University Business School, MOBS. It's an institution. It doesn't have the capacity of taking on more than one value or quality, and it's not measured. You cannot measure Makerele. Yeah. So it should not be considered a variable because it doesn't change. Yeah. Then we have Office of the Auditor General of Uganda. It's just an office. It cannot be measured and it doesn't change. Yeah. Then we have Uganda Revenue Authority. Uganda Revenue Authority, it's also a government institution. Yeah. It doesn't change. Yeah. And it cannot be measured. So these should not be considered variables. Yeah. And then note the rule of thumb for identifying a variable is the ability of the element to vary. If it cannot vary, it's not a variable. If something can't change, it's not a variable. So that is the rule of thumb for identifying a variable. The ability of that element to vary. Yeah, if it can't vary, it's not a variable. And the opposite of a variable is a constant. Yeah, the above things are constant. Moves is constant. The office of the Auditor General of Uganda, then the Uganda Revenue Authority. They do not vary. Now let's look at the types of variables. There are two types of variables and that is the independent variable and then the dependent variable. Yeah. The independent variable is a variable which exists without being influenced by any other variable for it to exist. It can exist on its own. It is what is expected to bring out the changes in the dependent variable. The independent variable brings out changes in the dependent variable. Yeah, but for it, it can exist without being influenced by any other variable for it to exist. That's what we call independent. It's independent from others. Yeah, then we have the dependent variable. This variable only exists after being influenced for it to exist. After being influenced by the independent variable for it to exist. Yeah, for example, attendance and performance. Attendance and performance. Attendance is on its own. It's independent. It's not influenced by the other variable for it to exist, but performance is influenced by attendance. Yeah, once you attend classes, the higher chances that you perform in class. Yeah, so in, in that scenario, attendance is independent and performance is dependent. Yeah. 
So that is the independent and dependent variable. That was all about the variables in research. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share with your friends and watch my next video which I'll be talking about the statement of a research problem.